Well, welcome everybody and welcome to the Master Heart family where every Monday we uh, we just come with open hearts and, you know, we share our good news, we we share uh, the, the contrasts, the challenges, uh, uh, and then we get answers and solutions and we're going to be talking about another source of energy that we can get to today and uh, to help us become magnets and that's with mother earth and so it's a uh, uh, pretty incredible on, on the energy that's really all above, uh, all around us above us and and below us and um and so with that what's the good news and uh, who has some good things to share with us? Some miracles, a little magic happening in our lives. Hey, Cammy, how are you? Welcome, welcome. And so, uh, so who has some good news to share? Got any any uh, miraculous things? Any fun things? Any happy things? What's been going on the last week? I can share a story. Yeah, hey, man. Next week. I um so there's so many that were just on. I uh, I had my daughter's my oldest daughter's graduation from South Carolina this year th or this weekend, and um, um we were able to <laughs> drive down everyone but my son. Anyway, a little background on on myself, kind of yeah, explain the the story. Um, I, I own a uh, the distribution company. I, I buy and sell in the heating and cooling industry. <laughs> Um, and I've had my company for a little over 15 years. Um, in 2019, um, I lost my three largest customers within like two months wow. and all for different reasons. Um, and that kind of led me to another industry, this scanner that I don't see anyone on here. Well, maybe a couple people, yeah. um, into, into something else, which is I've been working on and it's been uh, very exciting about, but, um, last year out of nowhere, a, uh, a small customer to me at that time, a big company, but never really ordered anything from me, um, called me up and, and had a uh, had an order for several million dollars. Mm -hmm. um, it, it was bigger than anything, any year that oh. I, I mean, way bigger than any of my best years. Mm -hmm. And um, so that kind of, kind of frames. Anyway, I'm on this drive down to South Carolina and I've got my daughters in the car. Um, so we're having a, a, a good time. And all of a sudden I get this email uh, from my customer and you know it's it's that email you never want to read right um big problems with these units that they purchased in this huge order um it's been going on forever uh get the factory on site now to fix it uh blah 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 blah, blah. and i'm in the car i mean what, what, what am i what can i do here and i'm headed into the mountains um so if you know the geography um you got to go through the appalachian mountains well you don't get good cell reception there. <laughs> we're, we're headed in and I make my first call and boom, phone goes dead. I'm like, all right, well, this isn't going to work. I, I don't know what I'm going to do here. But anyway, um, that was Thursday evening. Friday morning, I'm, I'm talking to Dr. Hank. And, and um, um, well, first of all, I don't know what they wanted me to do, right? Uh, we got these big problems. Get on site, get the factory on site and fix it. Well, one, the factory doesn't just go on site and fix problems. Uh, that's that's kind of up for me to do. I don't have a way to do that. Um, second, um, you know, it is a huge deal to me, but are they going to really see it's a big deal to them too, right? I got to got to show them that. So Friday morning, I'm talking to Dr. Hank and I explain the situation to him. Right? Here's my here's my dilemma. I'm trying to enjoy this weekend and I got this problem. What, what do I do? And, um, you know, he helped me look at this as it's, it's really not a problem. It's an opportunity, right? Um, and so we talked about pre-paving these calls that I have to make and, and see them the way that I want to have those calls go. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, you know, I've got to call the customer who's mad. And I got to call the factory that uh, we need to, to have see the problem here. So um, not to draw the story too much, but um, both calls went way better than I ever anticipated. And um, mm -hmm. You know, the manufacturer took a real interest in what I was explaining to him. He under, they understood, uh, the guy I was talking to, he understood my urging 
to listen to these customers' concerns. And um, and then, of course, my customer was super um, appreciative of what I was doing, trying to get this thing set up. But they've never been able to talk to the factory uh, until wow. until now. Um, and so I, I guess I, I got him the results that he's looking for. And we've got this whole thing set up. So this morning, I, I did get confirmation. Um, you know, one of the things that's it's always difficult when you're trying to set up a meeting is aligning everyone's schedule, right? And how, how do you align five people's schedule and, and make sure it all works for everyone? And, and we can find that one time. Everyone's traveling, doing different things, that sort of thing. So came in, I sent out the email. Uh, this is what we're doing. I'm scheduling this call. Um, this is why we're doing it. And we're going to make this happen. Everyone responded and it's all working. We're, we're moving forward. And I mean, it could not have gone better than my best hope. So um, the, the pre-paving, the, um, you know, I didn't know this at the time, but I actually manifested that, that customer a year ago. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't even know what manifestation was, but after meeting Dr. Hank, now I do. Um, you know, another funny thing is I, I never would have noticed this before, but when we get down to uh, Columbia, South Carolina, and we're checking into our hotel, um, you know, like I said, my son, had, he had to stay behind because he plays lacrosse and he's not allowed to miss a practice as they head into playoffs. Um, so he had to stay at home with a friend and he was the only one missing. Um, we check into my room and they gave us room 3029. 3029. His birthday is 329. Mm -hmm. So it's these these little things. You look, I mean, Dr. Hank talks about seeing these little things all over. Well, I mean, there he was. I mean, in a sense, he was kind of with us, right? I mean, he yeah, put us yeah. in the room of his birthday. So that was uh yeah. that was all kind of fun. And um weekend was great. It could have been better. She had um my daughter, both sets of grandparents were there, um, our whole family. So it was a lot of fun. That's fantastic, Mike. And, you know, it really shows us on what deliberate creators we have the power to be. And it, it's, you know, our committee, that little chattering mind, you know, that drunken monkey, as I like referring to it, that it's so, it just loves taking over right away. And, you know, you get this email, hey, somebody's upset and this is awkward. And then if you run with the committee, the committee will take you right into hell. <laughs> and, you know, make every, oh my God, you know, the manufacturers are going to be happy. And this is bad. I'm going to lose all this money. And, you know, this final a great client. And I mean, there's no end to that rabbit hole of hell that we can be in. And the beauty is, is we don't have to be there ever, ever. And when we start looking for the good, and when we just make it up, I was just talking to uh, uh, an agent, um, a real estate agent, and, and she's having a challenging time uh, selling this, this uh, home that she has listed. And, um, and she's telling me all about what the seller is complaining about and not liking. And I said, you just can't buy into what anybody else is thinking or saying. You need to buy into who you are and what you want. And so she goes, oh, don't tell me this about that. You know, this is really reality, Dr. Hank. And I said, oh, no. And she has on many occasions, this has happened in our relationship, where she just calls me because she needs some desperate help. And I turn her around. It usually takes about 10, 15 minutes <laughs> to turn her around. But all of us have the power to do what Mike did. And Mike took this situation that just looked like the end of everything, major sorts of income and blah, 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 and ended up having it, as he said, even better than what, in, uh, what he could have expected. But what's even great, think of the things that happen, like, you know, his relationships have been built with his client now. With the the condition of contract six fifty. And in fact, it's the home warranty. Uh, I'm gonna uh, oh, in the home warranty. Who's ever talking there? I just mute, muted all of us, so unmute yourself if you uh, want to chime in here. And. Um, but one thing Mike didn't mention is that there was a major manufacturer who was a competitor who they were thinking about going to, 
So, I mean, they already had a, another plan and everything. It doesn't matter what other people's plan is. It matters what your plan is. And when you simply ask, you know, what do I want? What's the outcome, the ideal outcome that I want in this situation with this person, whatever, that's where you call in God and God comes to run. But we have to do the asking that if we are asking is with the committee about how terrible this is and everything, then it will be. And uh, the other thing I love what you mentioned, Mike, is, yeah, you're seeing all of these coincidences, your son's birthday on the door of the room that you guys are, are staying at, that you're realizing that you actually manifested this amazing client, you know, a couple of years ago. That's who we are. We're here to create. We're not here to learn any lessons. We're not here to sacrifice. We're not here to work hard. We're not here to uh, do more, to you know, right wrong, to judge anything. Leave that all alone and simply have us all go out and, and create what we want. So that's beautiful, Mike. Thank you so much for uh, sharing all that good news. Who has more good news to share? with some good things going on. Cammy, why don't you say hi if you don't mind? I know you're not shy. And, and in fact, just tell us for a minute on, on uh, the amazing uh, blessing you are to the world that you do with real estate and helping uh, charities. Well, it's kind of you to ask. Uh, Dr. Hank and I were introduced via a mutual friend, uh, Karen Liz Albert, and she introduced us because I'm currently in Texas. I'm traveling the country in my RV, and oh, nice. uh, with uh, with Dr. Hank being here, she thought it would be a good introduction. And now I find it's even better because of the spirituality and the consciousness that we are together. Yeah. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm traveling the country, promoting. The book that we have, Real Estate is Hot, Fundraising is Not. And I learned about three and a half years ago that uh, giving donations of real estate uh, has been happening for 100 years. $9 billion a year goes to nonprofits wow. that way. Wow. Yet 99% of realtors, nonprofits, property owners are just not aware of it. So we are teaching realtors how to step up and be charitable real estate specialist in their marketplace. Mm -hmm. We're consulting with nonprofits to let them know that they can six times their endowments and donations from the same donors they already have by simply letting them know that they can benefit from real estate. So we have a really simple system that makes it risk-free and no money out of pocket for the nonprofits to have these donations of real estate from anywhere in the country wow. uh, facilitated for them. And uh, that's what we're doing. Our goal is wow. to bring $20 billion a year more to the nonprofit world through gifts of real estate. And that translates into about $2 billion more a year in commissions to the real estate agents. So it's a big uh -huh. undertaking, but we can do it. Yeah, fan. That's fan. awesome. <laughs> well, thank you, Cammie. And just, yeah, beautiful that uh, just love you traveling around and you're right down your, your mobile home, right? That, uh, or, yeah, am I using the right word? Is that what it is? RV. <laughs> Are you sorry? <laughs> Joey knew that. <laughs> yeah. How long have you been doing that for, Cammy? Two and a half years. Awesome. Any tiring of it coming up? Oh, no. I, I, uh, I, as a matter of fact, once I'm in an area for about a week, I get ants in my pants and it's time to move on. So <laughs> I, I, I like driving and seeing the country and moving i have gypsy in my blood so <laughs> nice if you ever get up towards south carolina the west side let me know nice i'll put my contact information i'll yeah. put my contact yeah. information and love to connect with any of you yeah great awesome. great and, awesome. and joey also knows a lot of real estate agents but and, and what do you say about the people the owners that they're asset rich and the, the reason that this happens is because there are people in their 60s, 70s, 80s 
that are cash conservative and asset rich. They're going to liquidate that property one way or another. And a lot of them want to leave legacy and be significant. And we've got a really simple way for them to avoid capital gains and a lot of other tax benefits. But we find that 80% of people who donate real estate do it because they are a veteran. They are a foster kid. They are someone who loves the Lord, like whatever it is for them, it's, it's altruistic in nature. And I love that. Yeah. That's awesome. That's beautiful. Fantastic. Well, thank you, Cam. And welcome to our spiritual family. That is fun having you uh, with us. And we love attracting common, similar-minded people with big hearts who love to lead with heart. And you certainly are one of those great people. And so other good news, other things going on? Yeah, I got hey, one Joe. quick thing. that It's just kind of unfolding as we go, though. And, you know, like, like, like I've learned that getting to the life I want to get to, all I got to do is remove the things within me that's stopping me from getting there. Right. right. So, and, and, and Dr. Hank, thanks to you. I've been through a lot of this travel and things like that and opened up a lot of things. And the one that's come up for me recently is being vindictive. Like I'm a, in my nature, I've grown into my conditioning, being a very vindictive person growing up in Detroit and the family I grew up in and protecting and things like that. And, um, in fact, to the level where like my favorite quote in my life used to be when I was a teenager used to be from Al Capone. And he said, I'm kind to everyone. But if you are not kind to me, my kindness is not what you will remember me by. And I took so much pride in things like that and stuff. And 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 now it's like things have cleared. The path is cleared away. And it's like, that's the next one. And it's it's been coming up the last few days or so. And it's been like, okay, then I know this is causing me limitations, so I'm going to let it go. But it, it, it's such a part of my fabric. It's, it, it almost feels like, who am I going to be without this? You know, because it's built into so many areas. And so as I was going, I was like, you know what? The I just the joy shop, things like that. I just said, it's just going to show up. The avenue for it's going to show up. It's going to be easy. It's going to be. So it wasn't. I wasn't surprised when I read today's thing about the Master Heart family that mm-hmm. this is where we can dismiss the guards in front of our heart. Yeah. It was like, right, I, the avenue is already set up for me. All I got to do is show up. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's my excitement for this week. <laughs> yeah, that's great. And isn't that powerful? Just think about, yeah, you know, we got a bunch of guards around our heart and everything, and they're made up from these beliefs and honoring people and stuff and, you know, thoughts uh, that don't serve us, you know, and those don't serve you anymore. And so, yeah. That, you know, and you just have to ask that and ask for what? I want a simple, easy solution for this. I, and this is what I want. You know, I want to be open and kind. And, you know, I love words like just changing our vocabulary to, I love being tender. You know, I love being tender. I, I love being playful. I love having fun. I'd write down some of these. these, uh, This is being channeled right in God's mind and your hearts. uh, um, I I want things to be soft. Tenderness. Softness. Hmm. Graciousness. That's who I want to be. I want to be kind. I want to be loving. And as you say those words, that that positive, loving energy from the universe comes to you. And that's who you become. You know, our thoughts become things. As a man thinketh, so he become. I mean, we've been told all these things for ages. It's just now, now we have the easy path, the easy way, Joey. So beautiful. Man, just love that. Like, yeah, the only thing, you know, like you said, Joey, I, the only thing really getting in our way is is ourself, our own, you know, beliefs, our own thoughts, our own way of thinking this is how it has to be, or this is who I am. That's another good one. Like you were saying, I, you know, well, if I give up this part, you know, what's going to fill in? Who, who am I going to be? I'm going to be soft and tender and kind and loving. I'm going to be uplifting to myself and to the world. We're all uplifters. 
So it's our spiritual family really understands on how uplifting that, you know, the kind word is, the kind thought, whether they know we're thinking it or not. To each one of you today that I sent you love and well-being, health, wealth, and success. If you only think about those type of thoughts, that's all that comes to you. Because this is not a world of insertion, but of attraction. We attract everything. And so we just think those simple, beautiful thoughts. So I love that, Joy. So great. Yeah. You have other thoughts? Dr. Hank? Yeah, you Hi. Well, hi, everybody. I've just really enjoyed all your comments. And I just want to share a couple things I told Dr. Hank earlier. But I was in Utah last week, and one of our leaders on our team, Dan McCormick, who Dr. Hank knows, good friends with him. But after his presentation, he saw a penny on the ground. So he picked it up. And he said, I just want to share with all of you, I appreciate this penny. I appreciate money and I want more. And I thought, Dr. Hank, (laughs) that's Dr. Hank. That's awesome. And then talking about being a a deliberate creator, um, I like to watch the highlights from Americans Got Talent. And one of my favorites is... um, Justin, Brian, Justin Crum, I think. And when he goes in front of the judges, the judges say, you know, what do you want to do? What, what would your dream be? And he says, I want to move people when I sing. And he sang, and it's one of my favorite songs. And, and, and I, and it, um, from Dr. Hank teaching us, it clicked in my mind. Well, he put the intention out there, right? So I started to put in my uh, joy shop just a couple of days ago. I want to move people when I talk to them. I want to inspire them because I really do. And and so that was just, it's a simple thing, but it's very powerful. Oh my gosh. Love it. Love it, Robin. How beautiful. Yeah, that... um, So remember, we have all these resources that are available to us, and all we have to do is ask. So Robin was just speaking about um, how we want to, you know, really touch people and in our communication, uh, lift them. And one of the easiest ways that I use, and we've talked about, and you know, it's uh, with Walk with God and with our Master Heart family, is Archangel Gabriel. And Archangel Gabriel has this beautiful white light energy that we can call for. And Archangel Gabriel is the Archangel of Communication. And so to go into on how I invoke, how I invite, that's all we need to do for all this loving energy. Everything is God, if you will. This is just a piece of an amazing, incredible uh, a piece of, of God and these archangels that God has sent to us to help us. There are seven key things that we've asked for uh, that those that have walked before us have asked for. And this is one of them is to be an angel of communication. So I ask, and again, I take some notes on here. If you want to be an angel of communication, I invite Archangel Gabriel with that white, beautiful, divine light and energy to flow into me now. Let me hear what other people are really thinking and feeling. Let me understand where they're coming from. And when I communicate back to them, that people not only listen to me, but they hear me. That I touch not only their minds, but their hearts. I uplift the people that I communicate with because I am now an angel of communication. I uplift them and I help them to understand what is possible for them. And then I show them the lighted path to 
the possible. Awe. Oh, and if that doesn't just feel great. And when you get lost in those thoughts, I say that every morning with Archangel Gabriel, every morning. And I become an angel of communication. And, you know, some people will say like, well, gee, what a bet. we really don't care what other people's opinion are, okay? We only care about one opinion, and that is of God's. And how do you know of that opinion is how you feel. And so when I say I'm the archangel, the, the angel of communication, that it feels good. And so I know I'm on my lighted path. And again, whatever other people are saying, it just doesn't matter. What matters is what you're thinking, what you're feeling. And when you do that, you become more powerful than millions of people that aren't connected. And so it's so beautiful, Robin, and yeah, to, to have that and see there's no end to as we continue to walk down this corridor of joy, the doors of abundance, of communication, of thoughts, of love, of freedom, of compassion, all these doors, there's no end to the doors that shall open for us. And this beautiful thought that Robin had on, hey, you know, I, I just really want to connect with people. You know, I want to uplift people. And that's what each one of us are. And we're more conscious and aware of that than most people are and who they are. Most people are stuck with their committee in their pity party. <laughs> They're, you know, whining about this. And we were in yoga the other day, you know, and the lady who I channel with my, my mother and she's myself doing yoga because she loved, loves uh, um, yoga. And, um, and some lady turned to us and turned to Jenny and said something like, oh, did you hear this, you know, terrible shooting or whatever that happened, you know? And I was just so amazed, like, um, you know, turn off the news and none of that. If you can't control it, leave it alone. And, you know, that that don't try to control something you can't control. The committee will take care of that and you'll end up again in a miserable life. And and uh, we, we deserve the abundant life. And we can have this abundant life. And so hearing, you know, and when you think those thoughts, what are you attracting? If you're thinking about shooting or whatever, okay, these silly thoughts, what are you attracting in your life? Some things you don't like. And however you feel, God will find more ways to make you feel that way and even more. Well, gosh, I don't want to feel that way. It makes me feel empty and, and disempowered and, you know, all kinds of things. So I'm not going to think about that. I'm not going to watch the news. I'm going to just hang with God and be happy and walk down that corridor of joy and have those doors swinging wide open for us. Ooh, baby. Love it. Love it. Other thoughts, comments? You know, um, we'll then get into, I wanted to talk today that, you know, every week I, I ask God and all that is, I ask what, um, what something we should talk about, and and um, uh, and then I realized that oh my gosh, I I do grounding, uh, especially when I'm doing yoga, and I and uh, this grounding, this idea about Mother Earth is so beautiful, and it's just another gift that God has given us. And there's this beautiful energy that's in Mother Earth, and actually magnetism, we can use that magnet that's within Mother Earth and we can call forth that magnet to help us become magnets of the things that we want, that we ask for. And so does anybody have any experiences of being grounded? And I'll give you some examples. Uh, uh, again, my yoga, and I, I, I talk about being grounded. And so I'm down on my forehead on the ground. I then actually go and, and put my heart, and it's a tough position, 
I kind of have frog legs behind me, if you will, and and uh, I lift up my chin and I put my heart on the ground. And it doesn't matter if you're, you know, in an apartment building, a condo, on a, a 28th floor, or whatever, um, that you can ask for and call for this amazing, beautiful, loving energy that Mother Earth has to give us that makes us magnets. And um, I've also been caught um, hugging trees. That's another great way of never hug a tree. Oh, just get into that. And I just love going to the park and hugging trees. And you can literally feel their energy when you open up to it. Again, if you care about what other people are thinking and you're a peepee, -pee, a people pleaser, that... Um, uh, that you won't fare very well and you won't feel any energy at all. But when you let go of that, don't carry, detach from the world and say, hey, I just want the loving energy of Mother Earth. So being on a beach is a great way to do that too, walking on the sand and bare feet, uh, hugging trees. Uh, but has anybody had experiences with that? Uh, with being grounded and wanting to be grounded or any comments about uh, Mother Earth's uh, beautiful energy that she has to give us. Yeah, yeah Joey. You know, I do with trout fishing. I mean, there's times I'll walk into a stream and, and, and I'll fish and things like that. There's times I walk into a stream and just hold my pole and just stand there for like 15, 20 minutes and just, yeah. it's almost like it connects me back with everything that's really important and stuff, so. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely love it, man. I was right in the stream with you there too. <laughs> I mean, I literally, as you said, yeah, I just stand there in the stream for 10, 15 minutes. Oh goodness. And of course, yeah. water too. Uh, you know, the the world has more water than anything in it. Uh, we're made more water than anything. You know, it's just mother nature. It's just beautiful. Other thoughts, comments about that? Yeah. Last Friday was a full moon, and I went to a gathering in a park here in Austin with 10 other women, Wow! and uh, and we did the same thing. One of the women actually said the best hug she's ever gotten was from a tree, <laughs> and, um, and it was just a beautiful place. We took 20 minutes to just go do our own thing and talk to nature, and I uh, took my shoes off. I like to walk barefoot when I can to ground and um, just yeah. had a, a really interesting conversation with the tree um, yeah. because I travel and I, and they were encouraging us to go hear what the plants had to say. Uh -huh. And uh, this one big tree that I had my hands on, it was, it was thanking me for visiting. It said that when uh, it's been there for so long that it it sees and learns and has lots of knowledge from being stable and in one spot, but that I get my own knowledge from my traveling around and that when we come together, uh -oh. we share uh, cool. from both perspectives. So that yeah. was my Friday night full oh, moon experience. Gosh, I love it. I love it. Yeah, there's a lot. Uh... Mike, I think you you had something too about about uh, being grounded. No, actually, I just came across it about two weeks ago, um, and so I've been very curious about it. and And I I found myself uh, walking around outside barefoot, <laughs> trying it out. Um, but um, I thought you were going to say you know, last Friday because uh, we were talking. Yeah, it was the four fives, right? Five, five, five. Yeah, yeah. Fifth right. day of the fifth month on the fifth day of the week. And um, I forget the, the other five. But yeah, 23, 23. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, in the year of 23. So two, three equals five. But yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, I'm, I, I actually have uh, been trying to learn more about grounding. Okay, great, great. Well, so uh, you're in the perfect place. You asked. Yeah. So now you'll, you'll receive. So that's beautiful. And um, yeah, and so there's a lot of, um, I just know that there is uh, energy, you know, I like, um, you know, mainly we have uh, shared and talked about um, what most people consider above us is really within us, like our inner being and, and God is here and, and everywhere, the kingdom within us. But um, 
you know, a lot of people say like, oh, you know, you must be a Dr. Hanks La La Land. And so that's where we're flying with our angels. So we've talked a lot about this flying with the angels and, and kind of a good way of um, uh, really getting some good balance because we are human beings. We do have these bodies, if you will, that we drag around with us. That um, it's that I, um, I have my head in the clouds, in the heavens, and I have my feet rooted into Mother Earth. And so this idea about roots and you building roots, remember with your mind and your imagination, uh, Archangel Jophiel has this golden uh, light energy that illuminates our mind and expands our imagination and our creativity. Einstein um, is considered so brilliant. We're all geniuses, by the way. Anything that we focus on, we can become geniuses. But Einstein would just go off to his lab on land, if you will, and created amazing formulas on energy and other things. And so for us to know that whatever we're thinking about, we've been told, oh, come on, quit daydreaming and, um, you know, quit making that up. And, uh, uh, you know, this is reality, face reality. And as we all know, that none of us are going to ever face reality again. Facing reality, it's all news. It's what we thought that turned into energy, that turned into our experience. So what we're seeing right now is a reality. It's all news. So we're never going to create it. We're never going to face reality, but we're going to create it. We create it with our imagination. And so just think about on how you can actually get rooted into Mother Earth and get those energies, those magnetic energies to flow up you and be with you. And so with that, let's take uh, some time to connect with Mother Earth. And similar as we connect with our angels and God and all that is, it's through our magnificent breath. And so I'd ask you to uh, get comfortable if you have shoes on, you can take off your shoes. Again, doesn't matter where you are per se or what you have on, but it's a good symbol to reflect your oneness with Mother Earth as well. And so again, take off those shoes if you have them, uh, maybe even socks, whatever, bare feet on the ground. And let's just relax. And... Close your eyes. It's easiest to go within when we close our eyes. Become quiet. Become still. And now breathe in deeply. Five seconds in. And breathe the air of Mother Earth into you. Breathe the oxygen of God Almighty into you. Uh, and just release now your breath and let go of anything unwanted. And just release and let go and relax. Breathe in. And breathe out and just say to yourself at ease as you become very comfortable very connected to the heavens, and now very connected to earth. Breathe in. Ah, and breathe out. Ah. Breathe in. As you breathe out, pass down to connect to Mother Earth and feel her beautiful energy touching the soles of your feet. Breathe in. And breathe out. 
And as you breathe in now, breathing in the energy of Mother, becoming grounded as one, and feel that energy starting to go up your feet, up your ankles, getting you all so relaxed and so energized. And so love, just feel that loving energy move off the Mother Earth now in your calves your knees um, and your thighs coming up across your waist all oh, going into your beautiful heart to your stomach and liver and kidneys creating such good health for you to see that greenness of Mother Earth Blowing her energy and her love to you, going into your lungs, going across to your heart and all. Feel that loving energy of Mother Earth now coming from the bottom, going into your heart, releasing any guards from your heart. Releasing now so freely, so naturally, as in nature, Mother's nature, taking off any chains around your heart, and doing those lines of chain. And now just have your heart open like a flower in Mother Nature. You're so wide open to all the love. Mother Earth has to give you that all this world has to give you, that all the people have to give you. And looking up now, dawn, angels, 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 Abraham. As we now move the beautiful energy of our necks uh, into our face, just relaxing, feeling so energized and so relaxed and so at ease, going into our brain, going up our spine. takes all of these energies and you mold them into our dreams, into our life. We give such thanks that we have been given this loving ability to be able to create the life of our dreams, to have our soul be so happy with the world now that we experience, with the freedom that we experience, and with the prize, with the joy feeling the joy from all above and now below, connected as one to our now grounded body. And as you are, that this energy now just flows the element flow like an ocean. Just breathe through your nose down deeply and hear the ocean. As you breathe out through your nose, you're in the ocean. Yeah, and you go as you walk in one now. With God, the angels, with this world. Now, have your boots, your feet sink in. Mother Earth and go deeper and deeper and deeper. Be 
feeling her love, feeling her energy, feeling her magnetism now in the roots from your feet going down all the way to the core of Mother Earth. And you now receive that magnetism from Mother Earth goes up your roots and it flows in your body, your emotions, your mind, and you we together are magnets now to when we think something, it appears. We just love this. And we only think good feeling thoughts, thoughts of what we love, enjoy, desire. It just all flows to us now as we, for the first time ever, fully connected with all that is, with Mother Earth, with ourselves, with this world, and with divine intelligence. And just take a moment now to feel the loving energy and the magnetism of Mother Earth flow up to you. And through you and all. To that magical sound of your breath. The ebb and flow of life, of love, who you are. If you walk with them, and you fall So grounded, so happy, so at peace, so free. Now know that those roots are deep into Mother Earth and she'll be there forever. So rooted, so grounded. So much of a magnet now, your magnetism to everything that you want just flows so easily and gracefully. As you are so tender now, you're so soft, now, you are at ease now, relaxed, so happy, so joyful, being so connected, so as you raise that energy, those roots of Mother Earth through your body and now up through the crown of your head. And those roots expand out to God and to the archangels and all the angels and divine loving energies, wanted energies of the universe are now all connected. And at one, you're the conduit of all that is. It gives you perfect balance that now has created the deliberate creator that you always wanted to be. You are now. Ah. So take this precious moment this precious moment 
and plant it in your memory, plant it in your thoughts and your feelings, and now place it in your heart. That you are at one now with all. So happy, so free, so filled with joy. And know that this is now so. As we gently and easily come back into our chairs, come back into this beautiful place that we are seated at, into this beautiful world where we get to call for everything that we want. It comes easily and gracefully, skipping along, coming to us now forever. For this, we give thanks. As I invite you now back into the room to open up your eyes and welcome this beautiful world, this beautiful life you're connected with all that is from up above to down below. And so it is. Amen. Ooh. So how's everybody doing? <laughs> Ready for a nap. <laughs> just peaceful yeah so peaceful yeah you'll be energized now all day and forevermore where mm -hmm. we get all our energy from yeah now we gotta have another place from god and this beautiful mother earth energizes us. so that's mm -hmm. great so with that other thoughts comments I know, Joy, this is your favorite time of the session <laughs> where we get to sing. <laughs> so follow along. I'll sing first. Repeat after me. We've invited our hearts in. We've invited, We've invited our hearts in. in. Come on, sing it like a kid. Be a child. <laughs> Now it's time for our dreams to begin. Now it's time for our dreams to begin. <laughs> we love our Master Heart family. We, we love, love our, our Master, Master Heart family. As we now walk together merrily. As we, as we, as we now, now walk, walk together, together merrily. merrily. <laughs> Sound off our Master Heart family. Uh, Sound <laughs> off our Master Heart family. Master Heart family. Sound off our 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 Master Heart family. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. <laughs> Very good singing. You guys are pros, you know. Uh, who's got <laughs> talent or whatever? You guys need to be on those TV shows. <laughs> Something. <laughs> uh, well with that hey love you all thank you so much for uh joining us and uh and getting grounded and really just getting so connected to mother earth and all that is uh, i love you and now know that your week is off and sail and easy and wait for big happy surprises to come your way <laughs> <laughs>